If you're on Twitter, then you likely know the kind of platform it is. Although you can use Twitter to find news, memes, some great dad jokes, and of course people promoting their OnlyFans, it's also one of the most toxic social media platforms out there. And I love it. I don't know why, but I do. However, they recently added a new feature, Fleets, and users are now fearing that the app's new feature can make Twitter even more toxic. Which I, I didn't think it was possible, but they've outdone themselves yet again. I'm gonna tell you guys all about it right now in Info Overload. Do me a solid and just smash that like button and let's get into it. If you've been on Twitter, you likely know what this new Fleets feature is. It's Instagram stories, but on Twitter. And it's something that literally no one asked for, yet for some reason, Twitter decided to implement it anyways. Showing the profile pics of people you follow in little circles at the top of the app, exactly like Instagram, Twitter fleets last 24 hours, just like Instagram. I wonder where Twitter got this whole story idea from. Probably Snapchat, if I'm being honest. Remember that app? And of course, you could add text, photos, videos, as well as tweets to your fleet, which make it quite literally identical to Instagram stories. It's just on Twitter now. Of course, users were quick to complain about how much they hate the new feature, but it seems likely it's here to stay. That being said, a handful of Twitter users highlighted an issue with fleets that Twitter is no stranger to, harassment on the app. As I said before, Twitter is one of the most toxic platforms out there. It's chaotic, and knowing this, I try not to go on often, yet I find it's one of my most used apps. Maybe that says something about me, but I'll save that for my psychologist. Going back to fleets, users pointed out a handful of issues or ways that the new feature can lead to even more harassment on the platform, which they've been trying to deal with for years now. Andrew Thaler, who apparently has blocked Donald Trump on Twitter and has been blocked by number 45 himself, tweeted out that even though they block each other, he can still tag Donnie Boy on his fleets. This is bad news. The tweet reads, I quote, holy mola, you could tag accounts that have blocked you and that you've blocked, me and POTUS are mutual blockers, in a fleet, and the tag will still work to direct your followers to that account. That is not good. What that means is that you can use fleet to direct your followers to harass someone, and there is no way for the target to identify the source of the harassment. Shut it down, at Twitter. A very interesting way of looking at things. And given that fleets only last 24 hours, it would make things that much more difficult for you to know who directed these users to you or where they're coming from. On top of this, when someone reposts your tweet on their fleet, the original user doesn't get notified. Twitter user Bog Boogie confirmed this by testing it out themselves. I quote their tweet reading, I see a lot of folks saying, why does it matter? And they don't notify you on Instagram, and that's all well and good, but Twitter is not Instagram. And I personally feel this can easily lead to targeted harassment at a scale that is incredibly large and yet invisible. Twitter support would actually end up responding to the thread with, I quote, we understand the concern here. The team is working on sending notifications for when someone shares your tweet in a fleet. A spokesperson also confirmed that if a user is in fact blocked, they shouldn't be able to tag you in their fleet's story and vice versa. The spokesperson said the company is, I quote, always listening to feedback and that keeping people safe on Twitter is a top priority. I'm sure it won't be long before that bug in regards to the blocked person is fixed, but it seems fleets cause the app even more problems in general as the features weren't fully working for everyone. Just a day after rolling the feature out worldwide, Twitter support tweeted out, we're slowing down the rollout of fleets to fix some performance and stability problems. If you don't have the feature yet, you may not get it for a few more days. We love that so many people are using fleets and we want to ensure we're providing the best experience for everyone. I mean, I'm still not using voice memos, nor do I know anyone who does on Twitter, so I feel these stories or fleets may not stick, but really, who knows? As always, guys, let me know your thoughts on all this down below. How do you feel about this new feature? Are you on Twitter? If so, follow me. For now, let's do some comment replies from the video, which I did not put the title here because I'm a dummy, but uh, it's a video with me and Johnny that we doubled. Uh, the Melissa McCarthy one and uh, Melissa McCarthy backlash and uh, Diddy going into the pool. It was something, the title was something like that. You guys should know what I'm talking about. Biohazardous Meme Mean said, Jared looks like a wolf that turned into a person, but stopped before he reached 100% human. I'm not roasting, he hot. I kind of took that as a roast a little bit. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I appreciate you complimenting me on my looks, but I, I did kind of take it a little bit as a roast, but it's fine, thank you. <laughs> Jules Jellico said, the beef between Austin and Jake is totally fake. They are doing it to generate a buzz before their fight. I agree with that. I think, truth be told, I feel like the same could be said about Trisha Paytas and, uh, and James Charles or the Demelios. I really don't know. I find all YouTube drama is fabricated because it is an entertainment platform and it reminds me of the WWE. Angelica Elaine said, I never related to someone so much as in Diddy trying to dive, LOL. Yeah, me too. I can't dive. When I dive, it just looks like I'm like a fish flailing out of water or something. And I always got made fun of it for it. But hey, I'm not a fish. I'm a human being. I breathe air. This is mine. So I belong here. I can walk well. Anyways, guys, that's all for this one. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Love you. Mwah. Of course, users were quick to complain. Of course, users were. Of course, users were. <laughs>